Back again, friends, today with two buffalo. I was fortunate enough to be able to down on the spot. The first buffalo I hunted way back when for the community. I can't believe that. I can't believe it. <laughs> Very good shoot, Padro. We can hear our bull yes. breaking to the right. I left my 450 watt with a 500 grain bullet just in time to see him dashing out of the papyrus. With a snapshot, I was lucky enough to drop him right in the spot. Cautiously, I walk in on our downed buffalo to find him dead as a doornail. Excellent hunt with great people once again. Cannot see that he's going to get up. Uh, boss. The one bullet down, eh? It was a nice shot, eh? <laughs> Thank you, Ahmad. Eh? You're welcome. I'm glad you and I will work together. Yeah. <laughs> The next bull I hunted a few years later after trading in my 450 watt for my 500 Nitro Express. We have the same deal going and we're looking for dugger bulls once again in the cut grass here in the Zambezi Delta. My personal preference until today is a soft in the left barrel and a solid bullet in the right hand barrel. I've moved up from 570 grain on the Peregrine to a 600 grain today. Constantly looking for sign and spur. We get to the edge of some more cut grass and we have a feeling our bull is close. We lift Debbie up to be able to see over the cut grass and possibly spot a small piece of the buffalo or a clearing in the cut grass where we can start tracking further or find our bull. An example of a buffalo bed right here in the cut grass. Debbie seems to feel she's spotted the location of this buffalo. We move in guns high and hope for a opportunity. It happens fast. The bull jumps up and stares at us across the cut grass. I lift my 500 and put it right on his nose. The bull goes down and now, ladies and gentlemen, this 
could be an exceptionally dangerous situation. Thank you. 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 Thank you.